while waiting in the waiting room it was really stressful i cannot lie about it a lot of eyes you know who are stressing as well and in the same situation as you and after that uh, my lawyer arrived so uh, he was there he discussed with me and then the protection officer came to pick me up During the long interview, uh, there were a lawyer, a protection officer and uh, an interpreter. The role of the protection officer, you know, she or he asks questions um, and they are mostly specialized uh, about the countries that you come from. He would ask about, you know, uh, my own town, uh, you know, the streets, the reason of leaving your home country, uh, really kind of go in deep and tell them, you know, what really happened and how it happened and why really you had to move. I think that was also important that I didn't lie. Uh, based on those answers, uh, they uh, kind of decide to accept you, uh, to give you like, you know, refugee status, subsider protection or to refuse your case. So the role of the interpreter is to translate everything uh, literally. The interpreter doesn't have any influence uh, at the decision. She was objective, uh, you know, while translating. Uh, because after you know the interview you also get uh, the chance to check um, everything because everything is written the lawyer was sitting next uh, to me of course not uh, you know he is not able to say anything during the interview but I really felt comfortable with my family, we had only a family document that would prove that we are a family and you know our names and our date birth and that's all. Um, all the other uh, documents that were connected to my own story, I have printed them out um, online. I think uh, what was actually a big help for the protection officer that I was talking about it but I was also providing a document and so I was able to prove it in the same time and I think it helped uh, my case a lot you know some of the documents were asked by the protection officer actually which we didn't have in our hand and you know I just sent all of uh, these documents uh, you know with the email so it can still uh, it is possible to send them after you know the long interview but I would suggest if you have things with you just you know bring everything and don't think about if it's right if it's wrong because they make um, you know copy of everything <laughs> <laughs>